Turning, going into the kennel room for the first time this morning to let the dogs out. But I want to show you what it looks like in the morning and what their owners should be doing for the morning time. The dogs know to be in a down because that's the only way they get out of the crate is when they're lying and they're down. It takes a few days to get there, but we have them with all these dogs. So I'm going to get their, their e collars ready. Oh, I put this on the tripod and let you watch this activity. It'll take me a second to get this. Oops, wrong way. Okay, there we go. So I'm over here unplugging the chargers, turning them on, and these dogs just wait pretty quietly, which is amazing because all three of these puppies were incredibly, and still are incredibly whiny, but they've made a lot of progress. But just the sound of my voice is exciting to them. My presence is obviously exciting. And I'm usually very quiet doing this. I'm just not talking to them. I'm not out here saying, oh, good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing that? I'm not doing that. Are you ready right now? I'm not doing those things. I'm just carrying on with being very methodical about getting them outside. And she's in the down, so I'm going to reward this one first by opening and putting this on. And I usually kind of hug them, love them, not hug them, sorry, love them up with some scratches and pets in the morning. <laughs> and she's going to wait there. He's in the down, so he can go next. If, nope, if she starts to creep down, if she starts to creep, I'm pushing her back in with the door. No creeping in there. Now this guy has trouble not going toward me. No. So I'm telling her no. Because she's starting to whine. This guy has trouble not going toward me, which he's worked really hard at. We have worked really hard at. So he can't pull towards me and move, move toward me. I might shut her crate door if she keeps whining. So a little love by scratching when I put the collar on. You can go right there. This one's younger, so it's a little harder. More impulsive in a way, but super smart and has come a long way. And she's wearing this to help keep, well, sorry, to help keep the um, note. So she's started having me, so I noped, and I moved away. She's whining, so we're going to shut this. I might have to help her and tell her what to do. Down. And now I'll move back toward her again. So I'm moving away from her because I'm removing what she wants, which is my presence to let her out of the crate. She's wearing this little neck gaiter because she has some skin hairs. Nope. And I don't want to be licked. I do not want to be licked. I'm not. Nope. So I'm noping and pulling away. She wants my hand. I hope you guys can see this because this is... He's working really hard, let me tell you. I don't want her coming to my hand. If I want to pet her, I can pet her. Here, I'll get it a little closer so you can maybe see. I don't want her to come toward me. I don't. No, I don't want to be licked. I don't like it. There. That's better. Nope. Nope. Down. And so this is good for these other two, to just be waiting. No, 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 no. no. She didn't look at me that time. She's not looking at me this time either. She's doing great this time. It doesn't take long. I mean, I haven't been with her for that long, and it doesn't take long to get a dog to figure out how to get what they need.
she has such skin allergies. No. So we're just going to wait now, like I've been saying with these dogs, especially this one and this one. Lots of waiting because of their anxious states of mind. And this one waiting because it's just teaching her. So it's really quiet. Let's go. Kind of calm in my let's go. Let him shake. Nope, get back. Again, we got to wait for a threshold. Honey, sit. Good. Because Bacho will probably start whining, and maybe Honey, because that's what they like to do. You know, making movements as if you could see me over here. Nope. Let's go. So I often let her go pee because she has to pee right away and I don't blame her. These two can hold it. They're older. Nope. Bacho, come. Heel. And they're in a heel. Come. Heel. Nope. Heel. And he's whining, Bacho, so I'm just going to walk even slower. Sit. <sighs> Slowing him way down. Heel. I'm not touching Bacho's button at all. He just does this shaky thing. Heel. A little reminder for him. Honey, come. Sit. Break. So they got to go pee, do their business, have a poop, and then I'll show you what we do back inside for feeding and such. They're going to have a little run around, work on getting that poop out. Good girl. Good girl, honey. So they've all pooped and peed. So I'm gonna let them have a little run around for a sec and then I'm gonna call them back into a heel and walk them back in the house politely. Come! Heel. 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 So same thing, a couple of sits on the way in. Good. I'm going to sit her with her button. Good. It's hard to hold all this stuff. Heel. So we're going to do this in the, on the way back in a few times. I don't want her going no head. I don't know if this is upside down or not, but sorry, heel. We're gonna go by my dog who's on the porch. Heel. Heel. Good. Honey's back there, following nicely. Sit. Honey, come. Sit. Again, some movement to make it more challenging. Let's go. Kennel. Good. They all pretty much know where to go. It's awesome. She lingers, and I usually have to give her a point or a little direction. But let me show you how we do the feeding now. 
So usually these dogs are working for food, but sometimes I do feed them because I have something else I need to do. And this is what that looks like. Down. They know what a slow tap, tap, tap means, which I will do to get them to lie down. Oops, a little too high for you, sorry. Tap, 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 good. And I'm gonna do it for this girl over here. Tap, tap, so 14 and an eight. Too high on this one at first, which is honey over there. Okay, so now I'm gonna do their food. Which the sounds alone are kind of exciting, right? Especially for dogs that are pretty food motivated. Purposely, like dropping food, just testing them. I've dropped a bunch of kibble all over the floor. Just testing these dogs and their ability to hang out there. This girl doesn't have water in the crate and I, just to help her, she's young, not have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. She's really excited, so I make her wait the most. Honey, come. Good. Sit. So she's sitting and looking at me, which is awesome. She doesn't really eat right away. She doesn't love eating for work. She likes being with the people. So she looks at me. Let's go. Great. Nope. So she needs a little help getting in there. Good. I will leave her food out for a little while and then I'll take it away. Nope. Down. Also presenting my back to the other dogs, because these two are way more food motivated. Got your cup. Good. Sit. I didn't touch any e-collar, he just does it. Nope. Down. So it's not for her. Good boy. Nope. You're a good dog. Oh. You can go in there and eat. Nope. Good. Good girl. So when she looks at me, not the food. And I want, you, nope, I want you to see her eye contact. Nope, because it's really good. She'll go back and forth, and then she'll hold it on me for a while, and that's when I'll let her go. And I'll even add more time to it. Do it. Okay. All right. So there's a glimpse into the morning routine for these dogs, and the owner should be practicing this. All right. And the slow feeders are awesome for these two dogs because they are ravenous, as you can see. Not so much this one. All right. Have a good day. Bye. So she's eating. One last note though, when she does not eat, I just give her 15 minutes, take the food away, put it on top. I might try in the middle of the day if we've had a big outdoor activity. Otherwise I just wait till evening and she eats it then. And she usually at some point gets into it and starts eating it. But I don't just let it sit there all day long. I don't let a dog free feed. I want to use that opportunity for a, a moment of leadership coming from human.